Welcome in everyone. Gamer Cop here for episode 23 of Supermarket Simulator. Um yeah, why does things why do things not look as good? I should be fine. Maybe it's just me. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like they don't look as crisp as they normally do, but I could be wrong about that. Uh, okay, we have shelf space. We have one, two, basically two. I mean, that's not four shelves, but two products, three, four, five products. So if we get going with something else, we'll need more shelf space. Um, how does this look here? That's not actually the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. I think you can still fit back there. Um, if we got rid of these half shelves, which... I know we fought so hard to get those. We didn't really fight hard for them, but that would bump this back to here. And then I think if we put more fridges here, we're going to have to do that. Uh, we just kind of need more space. But we could put also another full shelf right here. That's probably going to have to happen. So we'll probably have to buy one full shelf at least. But why I talk about that is uh, we're going to do another license. So market, furniture. Some people are saying I should be using the corner shelves. I'm just not a fan of them. Maybe later, but it's not now, I don't think. Um, yeah, there's nothing crazy in here. Yep, just get a basic shelf, I think. Um, we'll buy some more stuff here in a second. Let's look at licensing. Licenses, yeah, we'll do this. So this is mostly, there's another toilet paper. Great. That's what we need. Uh, products. All right. Um, bleach. Let's, let's do four feet. We can afford it. All right. They shouldn't touch anything, but let's do. Let's make sure they don't. Our our homies. Our stocking homies. Doesn't sound right. <laughs> Doesn't. Um, so that's all our bleach stuff. So I would like it to be the same area. So this might have to be food now. This might have to be food. We might have to move bleach to like this back. This back existence and all the garbage that we have. Um, arg. This we have so much toilet paper. We don't have space for all this garbage in our store. Ah. All right. Um. Seriously, I have no idea. Um, I honestly don't know exactly how I want to play this. Uh, this could go right over there where that guy's at. That could be an easy one to get this put elsewhere. Uh, which is going to be right there for now. Which it obviously won't stay there, but it's there for now. That switched out that from there. Obviously, it's easy to move this out of the way. It's just what do we put there in its place? We can make this back wall toilet paper in a second. We might have to do something crazy like that. Let's just bring it through. Um, we want potatoes there? The tea and coffee, like, oh, I don't know. <sighs> Maybe the candy stuff goes right up there. That would kind of make sense, having that, like, right next to the checkouts. Probably the most logical thing. Now this... We're probably gonna have to move all this stuff off of here and onto a different shelf. And then probably put... I don't know. I don't want to dis disorganize that. Um, maybe we move these things to down here and then these two things can go onto here. That might be what goes right there. Or no, we could put chips right there. That'd be a good spot for chips, wouldn't it? All right, we got to do some organizing. This is going to be pure chaos. Let's grab one of the big bleach containers here. Uh, where is the bleach going to go now? Um, probably somewhere like that. Let's get those off of there. And this can get put back. Okay, that's a start. 
Um, toilet paper. There's a train wreck, probably. There's four in each one of them, because why wouldn't there be? Um, they're good at stocking stuff up. So, at least for now, that's going to go there. That's going to be just set out of the way over here. So this is going to go here. And then I did say chips on there because that does kind of make sense. Uh, we just need one of the boxes of one of the types of chips. There we go. This one doesn't have too many in it. These are the more pricey ones. Oh, these ones are the more pricey ones. These ones should be up top. Let's get those ones. All right, then let's move these guys all over. Just because we have a box that works for it, and then we'll package those four back up. Okay. Perfect. That's done. Now let's make sure that nothing gets put on those. Let's get these chips put away. Because that will help me keep organized. Okay. That's a start. So I like that. Kind of like your quick snacks and stuff like that kind of on your way out next to the checkouts. Um, flour at each end. I get a drink of my water there, sorry. Um, okay, we have space here for food. But like what food should go there? Coffee and tea should maybe get switched out into that aisle. Yeah, these potatoes, if we can get those over there, we can switch the coffee and tea out and take this space. That's, that's what we're gonna do. Let's grab a potato box. Where do we put our potatoes? There, right there. Oh, these are just one of these boxes. I didn't know that. That's pretty simple to move then. Okay. There we go. We'll set these over here just for now. And then this thing, we'll get rid of those. The T can go there. See, that's just so much easier than... If you can keep your shelves themed like this, just to make your life easier, it will help reorganizing your store significantly. Um, yep. Yeah. Obviously, if we had just all of the items unlocked immediately, it'd be easier to just organize what we wanted to have happen. Okay. So, those shelves are there. Is that all of our shelves? Yeah, we just have this weird one, which is probably going to end up being just like honestly probably associated like that for now um oh we have this one that's gonna go over here actually yeah let's put that over where can we set this so it's just yeah right there work this is gonna go if it, it'll fit i'd rather this be right here there i like that it's better an in cap of toilet paper still we can still do that we just want to put both types of toilet paper probably on there now um, this is the one that we have. Yeah, let's put this up there for now. These are, these are that big too? Crap. We are in a lot of trouble for this. Let's remodel. That's, oh my gosh. Oh, sweet Jesus. We have so many large items. There's the toilet paper. Oh gosh. How many types of toilet paper do you people need? If we did like that, we can pull these off of there and let me go grab another box of that new type. Nope. Nope. Yep. There we go. Okay. That's better than nothing. And then four, that's probably enough on the shelves. That's one of those full things, theoretically, on... Yeah, that's that should be enough. Uh, four up there and four up there, and we'll just hope that they keep up and not everyone in the world needs toilet paper every time they come into our store. Um, this can get thrown away. Um, okay. We have some massive cleaners and things. So, this is like a bleach as well. 
six on a shelf. Perfect. Uh, let's get that out of the way there. That's more toilet paper. That's also more toilet paper. Where's more of those bleach things? Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. There only, there's only six. Make sure I'm not throwing them away. Probably just two shelves of that. I like our potatoes are next to all of our cleaning supplies and stuff. That's perfect. Just what you want in a store. Um, okay. Fabric softener type stuff. That'll work. Four of those. Bleach definitely one across the bottom still. Um, maybe if we put that... One? No, I like it better down there. Okay, I tried something. Didn't like it. Six of those hopefully is enough. All right, this is like a shampoo here, right? What is this thing? Let me go read what that is. Let's put this potatoes away while we're in there. Uh, let's get that back. Okay. Boom, boom. Okay, yeah, that was bleach. That's like a cleaner, cleaner. Dish soap, dish soap, okay. Dish soap, that's a cleaner. And the dishwasher tablets, okay. It's all coming together now. Um, so, yeah, let's do, let's not do that. Let's do, I think hand soap right there. Let's do hand soap right there. Um, Let's go grab a case of hand soap, I guess. Uh, I was trying to think of a way I could just organize it easier, but I don't think it's going to work. Um, okay, yeah, I like hand soap here. And not here. Perfect. Okay. Could do more toilet paper up there if we have to. If we have extra space, we'll definitely do that. But, um, okay. Okay. Um, we have, let's grab one of the, it's like a dishwasher or dish. Yeah, that's a dish soap, dish soap here. We have a lot of dish soaps now. So we could do dish soap, dish soap, dish soap. I think shampoo should go there. And then maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Shampoo, oh, maybe shampoo on top. Maybe shampoo on top. I don't know, and then uh, maybe these guys right here. Wow, those those also, those do not take a lot on the shelf. Actually, I need, yes, thank goodness that will work. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, actually, we, no, we still have this one. Never mind, I say we will have an extra shelf, but it'll be, it'll, everything will be used. Um, this is a dish soap as well, so we're going to put it theoretically next to the other dish soaps. Shampoo is going to get moved to the top here. We have just a whole nother cleaning section. Okay, let's throw this out. Oop, that's not the trash. Why is it? What was I trying to put in there? I'm just crazy. Crazy stuff's happening. Okay. Um... Which ones of these are more expensive? Those are 338. These are gonna be far more expensive. So these ones will be right here. And they'll be these guys will be on the bottom. Okay. There. Um, is everything stocked how I want it? Yep, that's what we're gonna rock and roll with. Um, we can go ahead and activate our homies, and they can help us clean up our well, let's let's get stuff on the shelves. We have so many large things, which we have all the space through here for large things, actually, so that's not too bad. We'll put the bleach next to the other bleach, the toilet paper next to the other toilet paper, um, and then I can go there and there to start. So the other toilet paper. And then where's the other bleach? Our case of it, yeah, we do. I was like, we should have more, more of it. They can actually, I can probably have them start working now. Is 
that will probably help more than anything. Those guys will come back to... Do we have any other big things? Yeah, just three boxes of big things, which two are there. So yeah, this one can go as well and as well. Okay. Um, these guys, yeah, probably top shelf there for now. That's what we got. Um, these guys next to them, we are out of about to be out of racks. We're gonna have to start. I think our next upgrade actually is gonna have to be our storage room. To be honest. Yeah, I think our storage room is going to need to be bigger. Uh, we still have... We don't have any more rack space, do we? Oh, no, we got a couple spaces over here. Okay, okay. We're good. We're good. I was a little panicked. Because um, we still have... Is there just one more thing we got to put on there? It's just one more. That'll go right there, and then... How many new items do we have? This one we don't have a space for right now. We'll just set it here. Okay. Yeah. So we, we put those in a new spot. A new spot for those and those. Those we gave a new spot and those we gave a new spot and those we did. Okay, yeah, we got all the items. Let's set the prices. Boom. Boom. And oh yeah. Fifteen ninety four. Dish soap's expensive apparently. Um of course, why would those be worth anything of value? Why would that chemical be worth anything? Uh, ooh, this is some nice, some nice primo. So if they were ten ninety a piece, ten seventy eight. Yeah, so it's not super primo, I guess. But uh, yeah, okay, all our prices are set. So we have a nice cleaning section of just home goods, and then we have this little thing of toilet paper because apparently we sell so much toilet paper here. Um, okay. Um, they will figure it out as we go. Let's open the shop. Let's start rocking and rolling. Excuse me, sir. We have a surplus of cleaning supplies. I'd love to have you in our store. Never mind. Okay, it's fine. He doesn't want to come. That's okay. He doesn't have to if he doesn't want to. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep, we just got to wait now. Well, we'll sell some of that stuff off. And we still have... We have a shelf now, a shelf. Two, oh, we still have those three shelves there. I mean, we're gonna have to upgrade the store before we can add too much more stuff. Um, yeah, let me get a good thumbnail shot of this. The lights are almost too bright. I'm actually gonna, this is gonna be crazy. Turn the lights off for a second. Cause I can brighten this up in editing, but it's just too bright right now. Let's get that more centered right there. Let me get that guy out of the way. There he goes. All right, he's close, close enough. He should be out of the way enough. Okay. I will save that as, uh, where's it at? Here we go. For episode 23. Okay. And now we can turn our lights back on so people can enjoy it. Because these are bright. We have lights everywhere. I do wonder if your power bill goes up or any of your bills go up if you have more lights. I'm curious about that. It would also be really nice actually as like a feature, like if you could get shelves like this, but then right above them they had racks for storage. So like you could keep like maybe two, like instead of having like, you know, those are all storage shelves in there, but have like maybe a rack, one of those racks like above each item. That'd be kind of nice. So you can have some overstock just right above you in here. And so you could stock at least one of the items that was commonly sold uh, right in there. So you could make it easier to restock the things that sell the fastest. Just a thought. I think it'd be cool. Especially like above the freezers. Like why not stack stuff up there or have stuff stored up there? It's like grocery stores and stores do um, in a lot of places. So it's not super uncommon. That'd be kind of cool as a feature to have like a storage rack up there that held boxes. Would love that. Oh, you need help. Ooh, you must be having a party of some kind. I like to watch their totals go up. He's buying a lot of stuff. 
I'm yet to help someone with over a $200 total, but I think we've had people with over two. Oh, I should turn on my music. Speaking of things to help us get more money. Theoretically, I've heard that you guys have said people have, uh, it helps people stay in the store longer. So we'll, we'll see. I don't know if it actually works or not, but I turn it on every time to make sure that I have a chance of it. Problem is they're going to start restocking certain things and yeah, get stuck out here holding on to them. That toilet paper should get sold fairly quickly, though. We sell a lot of toilet paper. As long as they're not restocking dish tablets, I'll hold on to this one. So we don't want two of them out of commission. That'll that'll really hurt us a little bit. Perfect. They're keeping up with the times. They're keeping up. I interest you in some dish soap? You guys are all about our cleaning products we have here. You can also use these potatoes to clean, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. It's suggested they're in the same area. You never know. You can always believe us. We're a, a, a store. If one of these customers need help, I'm scared to put this down. Oh, there it is. I knew it happened. Can't you figure your life out? Well, I guess I don't need any right now on the shelf, so... I see one of them kind of try to come grab it. They're pretty quick. They're sneaky. How are we doing? Still stocked up. Yep, so they're probably not trying to... Anything crazy? Let's get some dishwasher soap. No, Ugh, you don't need any bleach. Do your dishes. Do your dishes. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, there we go. See, I was distracted. Three of them sold. Perfect. This is the mega pack. You want the mega pack. Yes, yes. No, you need more than one. You don't need hand soap. Wash your dishes. You can't use that in your dishes. Uh, find a lot of our cleaners, though. That's nice. Six more. We should be able to sell. I think we can sell six more of these today. Six more. Is that doable? I believe in us somewhat. How many people needed their help today, actually? They've been doing pretty good. Six of these definitely keep up with the customers pretty well, especially plus this system over here. Seven places for people to uh, check. It doesn't really make sense to have the checkout in the corner of the store. I don't think that's very normal. I mean, I guess some like big like uh, department stores will have ones in various like departments, but they would still have more up front than that. So I don't know. It's it's strange. I'm gonna buy some of those. I know someone needs our help right now, but I'm scared to set this down. You bought a lot of cleaners. Just no dish soap. Unbelievable. Your dishes are going to be very dirty. I can't wait till they do sales. It'd be nice. I can put some stuff on sale to increase, uh, you know, people purchasing certain things. Yes. Close. Yes. No, no. Those ones are, those cost a lot more, I think. Yeah, they do. Buy the cheap ones. Get them out of there. Why would you spend so much money? You're an idiot for buying those. I'm just kidding. People are like, why is this guy yelling at us? They're clearing this out back here, though. Holy smokes. They get those out there. Holy smokes. Get some more of these guys out there, too. They're clearing us out on some of these things. Goodness gracious. I have two more of those. Yeah, please, he's got he's got to have some. That's got to be what he's carrying. It's like critically low. Yep, there we go. Perfect. All right, no longer critically low. He's still. Are you still holding on to that? You know, you gotta sell one more toilet paper. I'm surprised we haven't sold two of those today. Or I guess four. There's a box of four. So I'm surprised we haven't sold four of them. Still, it's that's wild that he's still occupied with that. Just waiting for help. Great. Buying those things. You're buying quite a bit of stuff. 
What's your total going to be? Give me this. Grab it for our stock guys. Get it. There we go. Three more of these. How have you not sold that toilet paper? That is insane. Where our shelves are dying out there. We need you to get back to work. So in a desperate measure, we're going to do that for now because then he'll have somewhere to put that. Yep, there we go. So he'll get actually back to work. Um, I'll still hold on to this. Always they'll grab it and get confused. Next time one of those gets pulled off, they'll grab this one, not be able to finish it out. 9 p.m., so not too many more people. We actually made some pretty good money today. We have to stock up all of our new stuff, so that's going to put a bit of a damper on things. Hopefully we didn't have anyone actually out, like completely out of anything that they were looking for. They cleared us out. Yeah, these people are insane, which is great. I mean, we need them to buy all this stuff. We're making several thousand dollars a day in sales. I'd say our grocery store is fairly successful. We're making a couple grand a day in profit. I would definitely say we're we're a successful store. Despite how small we are, we do feel pretty small. It is crazy how small you start off with how much how little space you have and how you work up from there. It is absolutely insane in this game, that's for sure. We've made a lot of progress. It is wild how many days we've done on here and how much time we've put into this store. Even though we're not even close to close to being done. Um, yeah, not even close to being done. But yeah, they're all working. We'll finish out this day and then uh, we'll we'll call it an episode, I think. I don't think anyone else is here shopping. Yeah, we can probably set this down back here and I'll just deal with that tomorrow in game. Okay. And I think we can uh, send over the next day. 75 customers. That's definitely our new height in customers. Um, yeah, we don't have to worry about that. $5,400. Uh, green tea, bleach, brown sugar, and milk. It wasn't this one either, right? Yep. Green tea, brown sugar, bleach, and milk. So we have uh, green tea and milk left. Let's adjust the prices. Oof, some of these were like starting to skate on a super thin margin of profit. That's not too bad of a hit there. Okay. Um, that's what I'm going gonna, gonna to leave you guys there. That's the end of this episode. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the GamerCop channel and turn your notification bells on so you don't miss any future videos that I may post. This has been GamerCop. Thank you guys for coming and watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.